saying I think I disagree with the scientists. So oh, I'd like okay. to start there. Okay. So there's a pair of orcas terrorizing great white sharks off South Africa's coast since 2017, causing them to flee in masses, mm -hmm. according to a study. Just two of them? Uh, oh. huh. Two orcas? Two. Okay. Really? Yeah. And for whatever reason, when I, I saw this article at first at like 2 a.m. yesterday, because I was just woke up and I was like looking at podcast ideas. And I swear, I don't know if it was in a dream or whatever, but when I saw Orca, I thought sea lion. I was like, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> or, or. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very scary. I would run too. Sharks are running for their lives. Um, <clears throat> when or I woke orcas up. Orcas are, are jerks though. When I, well, they're just smart. That's <clears throat> when I woke up um, and realized that it was actually killer whales, mm -hmm. um, it took a little bit of the zip out, but yeah. it's okay. Free willy. So the study published in African Journal of Marine Science suggests that menacing orcas might have scared great white sharks away from their habitat on Gansby Coast, South Africa's Western Cape. A team of researchers from Marine Dynamics and Dyler Island Conservation Trust so they're getting paid for this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Notice that over that over five and a half years, 14 sharks have been tracked fleeing the area which the orcas were present, these two specific orcas. Huh. Visual sightings of great white sharks have also decreased per the study. So using tag tagging great data white? and long-term sightings, um, researchers also noticed that great white sharks started washing ashore, dead ones. Oh. Now here's the interesting thing. Eight of them from 2017 through 2020 washed up. All of them had their livers eaten out of them. <laughs> <clears throat> and they and that the bite marks that killed them were all exactly the same, leading them to believe that it was these two specific orcas that were, like, eating them for their livers. Like the Get, white man on a buffalo getting, tongue. Getting mm -hmm. that iron. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we know, liver is king. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> but liver uh, – shout out liver king – but liver is the most nutritious thing in the body. Mm -hmm. So it makes complete sense that they would do that. Also, it's known that orcas can kill great white sharks. They do it together, and wow. they team up on them, and it's been done. A lot of the science that I've read in the past was that it was like a defensive measure, that it wasn't like their main course was like, let's go get the hardest thing that is to kill that tastes like urine. <laughs> like that wasn't, the, that wasn't the thing. I like shark. I like that in my own head, I just had a little, this doesn't happen to him because he just says stuff out loud and didn't think about it. But I was going to say. What's, what's that? What's that? I was going to say, how I'm, I'm so surprised that orcas can be so great at killing great white sharks because their teeth are, round. are like rounded. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. Am I just thinking of cartoons of orcas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that is true. They probably don't actually have rounded teeth. I think I, they are. AJ, put up a picture of orca teeth so that when we view this back, we'll know. I think they are right. I feel rounded. like if you Google orca teeth, you're not going to get any good pictures. <laughs> you like get cartoons. Some uh, weird, nasty looking. Ah. I think you're wrong because the picture on the yeah, screen right now. Willy, <laughs> he, <laughs> Look at that thing. He, uh, wow. <laughs> he pets his tongue in Free Willy so the mouth is open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it exists. Nobody's <laughs> seen that movie since 1994. I like that movie. Good Actually, year you know what sucks, Jeff. though? Is Yeah, he's right, isn't he? I, what sucks is this whole thing I was gonna end on. So, you let them, you let a, you let the inmates out of the prison. Look what they do. <laughs> like a Sea World reference, like with Free Willy. Oh, nice. It's a dark ah. joke because you know they're treated pretty terribly, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's like fun. It's, it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good joke though. So, the wounds are distinctively made by s the same pair of killer whales, according to the study. The orcas wow. are likely to have killed more sharks that are yet to wash up ashore. The attacks have triggered the sharks, so they're liberal. Oh uh, <laughs> sorry, the attacks have triggered the sharks' uh, flight instinct, causing a mass migration away from the marine yeah. predators, according to the study. Allison Toner, a senior white shark biologist at Dyer um, Island Conservation Trust, said, We seem to be witnessing on a large-scale avoidance strategy mirroring what we used to see by wild dogs in the Serengeti in Tanzania in response to increased lion presence. So <clears throat> the sharks are doing that. I can't imagine that. Right. I, you're, saying, you're, you're explaining it, and you're reading it, and I'm <clears throat> listening, and I'm like, I don't know. It's all because of the emergence of a new profession. 
marine forensic dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> well, their teeth are the same bite marks, so we know it's the same. It would be really um, ignorant of me just to say no, call it BS on it, because we're not there and we don't know. But yeah. if the loss on the sharks is only in the teens, I don't really see it that be that big a deal. I mean, how many sharks die a day? You know? Want to hear something else jacked up? <laughs> so these orcas, another marine scientist, uh, scientist that I'm not going to even attempt to say this name and even where they're from, but <laughs> they they have determined the bite marks because of the unique teeth that we now know about of orcas. Um, they were going in like complete jerks into blue whale mouths and just eating their tongues out and then getting back out, and they're seeing lots of it. So a researcher saw large chunks of skin and blubber um, that have, were also gouged out of the side of the body of blue whales. They're like, you're swimming slow enough. I'm just going to eat you while you're going. It's oh, like, you're, really? you're still good? <laughs> like, you take a bite. That didn't kill you. And their fins aren't big enough then to go. <clears throat> yeah. So like, what, what are they going to do? You know? <laughs> he's like, you're eating me. <laughs> and the work is like, see, I, this is why I didn't tell you. I knew you were going to react like this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's kind of nuts uh, that they, you know, they're eating the tongues right out of the critters and then also on the side. But here's the, here's the thing I can't fathom. I can't fathom a shark seeing another shark get ate and being like, oh, God, <laughs> he's one of me. I better get out of here. I just can't imagine that. Oh, I see what you're saying. What I could see is maybe the orcas, orcas – I could see if two of them got into a system where they're like, this ain't that hard. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're like, like yeah. assassins. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing this. That's true. That they could run off – particular great whites and you could even convince me that maybe if they ran that great white shark off a mile that he might not come back to that exact mile but he's not going to go on with his whole shark life worried about that I could, uh, especially considering a lot of them migrate anyways and aren't they like the top, top of the food chain so what are they no they're not the, the orcas are killing them you didn't hear <laughs> Oh. Top of the food chain means you don't get your tongue ate. With their, <laughs> with, with their tombstone teeth? <laughs> yeah. <with it. laughs> you know what I wonder? If the orcas are coming in and eating the whale's tongues, I wonder if they just don't know to stop because the whale is saying stop, but they can't tell because the whale's mumbling because it ain't stop. got a tongue anymore. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Flop. And we'll do that. <laughs> this is a TikTok. This is uh, off the coast of Africa? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the other thing. East or west coast. It's yeah, important. I think. I said it. I think I said west. Migrate, kind of okay. just. That makes sense then. What? <laughs> yeah, west side? They're always the making. sharks are really scared of this area. <laughs> that's that's what I don't I don't get it. Right. I Like when I read it, I was like. Maybe you're too close to your project. So, or maybe you're getting fun. See, that's the other thing is people don't realize how a lot of this is funded. Like the people that study global, global warming, and I'm not going to say that the earth isn't warming up. I'm not going to go down the whole rabbit hole with that. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is that there's people that are being paid <laughs> by groups to find proof that it's happening. And then they find proof. Just like uh, when our parents were kids and the exact same thing happened because the next ice age was coming. And those scientists were paid to research the next ice age. Mm -hmm. Mr. Masano told me in class that one of his scariest nightmares he had all the time was he like as a kid because this is all they talked about in school. It was like on the news all the time, like the next ice age is coming and we're causing it. Is he would wake? He always had dreams that he would wake up and his whole uh, window would be it'd be under ice and he wouldn't be able to get out of his house. Okay. That was like his nightmare oh, because that's gosh. what they talked about all the time. But it's just so anytime there's like research done, man, you want to believe it because what else do we got but research? Yeah. But I'd want to meet the I. Like I got the time, but I'd like to meet the scientists and be like, "What? How? What's your lifestyle like? Why are you funded this way?" Mm. It's just like that guy that saw that UFO that worked at the place. What was his name? Bob Lazar. Yeah, Bob Lazar. And then the the pe the people at the organization that he worked for at Area Fifty One fired him because they were listening in on his uh, phone and he found out they found out his wife was cheating on him and he's like, "He's not stable enough. We got to get him out of here." Yep, yep. And it's like, <clears throat> by the same token, I want to know like, what's this biologist thing? He's like. Man, I got to put this kid through college. I got this and that. My ex-wife is just up my ass all the time. I got to figure out what I'm going to make ends meet. And I just got to. Yes. The yeah. Sharks yeah are the, the, the sharks are terrified. OK, it's like <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not saying that's what this is, but you you can't help but not, though, like how research you is could done. See where <laughs> it's, that can be a thing. How many researchers do they have out there just checking into the interaction between orcas and sharks in this one area? Right. 
And yeah, like, we don't know what their funding and, is like. Yeah, and it's I, the whole thing's a little weird to me. I just don't see sharks. Like I could see one shark getting scared out. Like, hey man, these jerks keep chasing me. But even that, they're so but the reactive. Whales gonna, the whales aren't going like, to be there the whole time. Like, because they migrate too. So so much about sharks are just instinctive too. Yeah. Like, but but at the same time, you could see, like you said, two orcas. They work together. They got kill a system one, going. Kill one shark, and they're like. Hey man, that was really tasty. You want to go try to find another one of those? Yeah, that's no. true. That that argument. Yeah. Is I do the that most with wings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only the flats. Yeah. I, it's flats <laughs> only. When you order wings, you get flats only. It's 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 you way take, better. You take the upcharge. You do. You do. Because they're so much easier to eat. I I prefer flats. Really? Yeah. What about you? You probably love drumsticks, you dirty girl. Yeah. <laughs> there's only one bone. That's yeah, but there's all kinds of stuff like going that. on. Between no. the bones to get that little bit of meat in the middle. I can drop it in and pull out a clean bone. Yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs>